than the panelists we've assembled here for you this afternoon. Candace Browning, the head of global research for Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Susan Lyne, chairman of Guild Group. And Amanda Steinberg, founder and CEO of Daily Worth. Welcome. Well, Amanda will talk about a young woman entrepreneur, right? And you've been known as a serial entrepreneur. You have said that financial services, all this talk about money, is a conversation that goes on largely among men. And, you know, women are sort of slowly elbowing their way into the conversation, but I wonder, have women chosen not to be at the table, or has the financial services sector just sort of not known how to talk to them? And with daily work, how are you trying to change that? Well, I think it's really a combination of things. I mean, the reality is, is that finance media to date, if you look at the most read finance publications, whether it's Money Magazine or Kiplingers or Barron's, they've all really always been traditionally read by men, and that's been the advertising and outreach vehicle for financial services. So it's no one's fault. It's just the way it's always been. So what my, I'm doing with my company, Daily Worth, which is a finance media company geared to women, for which I've raised $3 million in venture capital now. Yes. Thank you very and much. And $2 million yeah. round recently led yes. by women investors. Yes, I right? told as many women wallets. investors as I possibly could, some of whom had never invested before. Um, and uh, what I'm really interested in doing with Daily Worth, as you can think of it as a Kiplinger's or a Barron's geared to women, is to create one of the first bridges between the financial services industry and women. Um, I was really grateful that Vanguard invited me um, and my partner, MP Dunleavy, to speak to 250 members of their marketing and communications team last year. Vanguard, the investment firm. Right, Vanguard, the investment firm, um, which I really appreciated. Uh, and there's a lot of investment firms that we're talking to. They're saying, all we've ever done is spoken to men. What is it that women are looking for? How do we communicate with them in a way that's not insulting? What, how do our products need to change? So it's, they're starting to shift, but we all, women need to enter the conversation as well. Well, Amanda, there are comments on your website saying, I never knew that the economy was so important to me until I started looking at how to manage my own family's finances. Mm -hmm. right, I mean, how do you see what you are doing in terms of bringing women into a financial discussion? Well, I think we're just preparing women for what's to come as they're, you know, 40% of women out earn their husbands now. And I was reading an article in the Wall Street Journal um, called What Wealthy Women Want which projects, and I need to check the data points on this, but I think it's interesting nonetheless, that within 20 years, because of the boomer wealth transfer, women will control two-thirds of the wealth in this country, which is a really interesting shift. So I think we need to prepare ourselves for new levels of re financial responsibility that we've never had before that I'm really excited about because with financial responsibility and re financial power uh, comes a lot of decision-making power. Like Spider-Man. <laughs> you know, I mean, but I think that's right, because I think that part of the question, though, is, you know, are women prepared to take the financial or to take the economic lead? Right, forty percent of women out earning their spouses, that is not a small amount. Yes, uh, with my boyfriend recently, when we go out to dinner, they always hand him the check, and he says to them, wrong economy, and hands it to me. <laughs> <laughs> When you think about the women you're employing who are then educating other women about how to control their own money. Well, I'm trying to reinvent the paradigm. Uh, if I wish you much success. Thank you so much. You and it's interesting because I employ 14 women now and, and maybe four of them have children and others don't. And the ones who don't um, are working very late hours and those of us who have children are going home. And I can see the tension there. But I'm trying to create um, an environment where, you know, if there is a sick child, we say, go take care of that sick child. I know that you'll make up for it on the weekend. We're building a results-based culture. Um, and one of my new sales directors um, asked permission to go to her child's play last week. Um, and when I said, of course, I insist that you go, she turned to me in tears and said, wow, I could have never done that in the last 15 years of my career. I had to basically hide that I was a mother. And I just, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life, so I was amazed at this. But this is clearly the reality that so many women live in. And I think if we want more women leaders, we really have to change the expectations um, around actual time in the office and yeah. really put the emphasis yeah. on results. Because the reality is, is I was up till 4 o'clock in the morning on Saturday writing a paper, but I also took half of the day off yesterday to take care of a sick child. So how, we're in the process of reinventing this, and I, I really enjoy this conversation because not seeing my kids enough is, pro is my greatest source of stress right now. Well, right, because we have to rethink the way we think about it so that it's not soft to do that, but it's smart business because you get the most out of the people who you work with and for.
I hope that um, five years from now, more women are thinking about their own investment strategies. And right now, we're talking so much about women's advancement in their careers. With that comes new earning power. And it's, I, it's not just as interesting to me to talk about that earning power, to say, what are you doing with that earning power? And are you using that to build your own assets and to build your own net worth? So I, I hope that five years from now, we're getting a little more nuanced in our own investment strategies. Great. Well, thank you, all of you for being here for an incredible discussion. And I want to give you... <laughs>